Hey everyone, Sergey here from Euchromedia.com, and today is an exciting day. We finally get to launch our very first script in After Effects. And if you have been following me on social media, or if you've seen my dailies, you have heard me talk about this script called Smart Rect. So it is finally here. You can download it or you can purchase it at Euchromedia.com slash Smart Rect. And before I show you how to use this thing, I do want to take the time and thank my friend Tim Thiessen for helping me with this script. He's just such a knowledgeable guy, and he's been so helpful with this. So, Tim, thank you so much. But in the meantime, let's dive right in. All right, so here we are in After Effects, and I'm not sure about you, but I use shape layers all the time. And by shape layers, I mean this rectangle tool right here. So if you double-click on this, one thing that drives me nuts about it, if you go to the size of it, you'll notice that it sizes from the center. And that can get kind of annoying at times. But a lot of times I would just go to the position here and create an expression to fix it. It got to a point where I got tired doing that manually. So that's why I created this script right here, Smart Rect. So let me show you what it does. So I'm gonna get rid of this shape right here. And then I'm gonna click on the Smart Rect. And right away you'll see the square right here, 200 by 200. So you can adjust like so. You can already see that it's extruding from the left to the right. So it's not doing it from the center which is cool, and it's doing it at the bottom left because that's where the anchor point is. But at any point, you can change the anchor point. You can say, instead of bottom left, let's do bottom right. So now it's going to the right side, so now it's extruding to the left and up. And you can say, let's do top left. So right here, now it's at the top left corner. And again, it's extruding to the right and then downwards. And again, all these options are very useful. And the cool thing about it, you can change it on the fly. You can keyframe things, you can round corners, you can also skew and all that stuff. So yeah, it doesn't seem like a lot, but this thing comes in very handy. Let me show you a practical example. So here's a modular lower third I've created using this smart rack right here. And by the way, I will show you how to create this in the next couple of days. So definitely check in every day, I think this week. So for each day, I'm going to do like a different part. So first part will be setting things up. Second part will be animating and adding different features and stuff. So it'll be like a week long thing. So definitely check back for that. But I have used Smart Rec to create this. As you can see, I have the rounded corners, you know, the skew, all that stuff. And I added some other things that I'll show you how to do. So you can do some gaps on the edges. You can add gaps to the top. And by the way, it is responsive, so you can type anything in here like euchromedia.com and it will adjust the size and everything else to it. So something like this. And again, you can go over here and go to character and then adjust the size and it'll do everything else. And again, I will show you how to create this in the next couple of days, so definitely come back for that. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you do find this script useful, you can purchase it at euchromedia.com slash smartrect. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is euchromedia.com.